survivors of the Haiti earthquake. 25 little children who live in a Port-au-Prince orphanage that partially collapsed while they were inside. They had already lost their parents and almost lost their lives. They were lucky to be in a part of the house that did not collapse, but now they face dire challenges. There are fears the rest of this orphanage could collapse because of the frequent aftershocks we're having. So the decision has been made to leave these children outside 24 hours a day. They're playing outside, they're eating outside, they're sleeping on these mattresses outside. You can see they're so well behaved, there's almost no crying whatsoever, but there's also very little smiling. By Haiti standards, this is an excellent orphanage. It's run by two sisters from Pittsburgh, Jamie and Allie McMutry, who have lived in Haiti for more than three years. They say they love the children, but can't even consider moving them back inside the house. It's buckling and we can hear it, like it makes noises like it's falling and rocks just fall out of the side of it kind of constantly, so we're certainly never going to go back in it. Meanwhile, food and water supplies are running low. The few stores open strictly ration their supplies. So can it you was, explain you run an orphanage, you need right. food? Right. What do they say? They don't care. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And here is an amazing and frustrating fact. All these children are in the process of being adopted by American families. In good times, the process commonly takes a year and a half or more because of Haitian and U.S. government bureaucracy. However, for these children now... They don't Everything exist anymore. They don't, why is that? Their paperwork was in government offices downtown, and the they're offices all crumbled. are crumbled. So there's that. that's what they need. All of those papers are what they need to be able to get a passport and a visa and go... And most else. of the people, even if the paperwork was there, I, we're hearing that most of the people who would do anything about it are under the rebel, too. These Pennsylvania sisters have dedicated their professional lives to helping orphans and now sadly realize this country has so many more as of this week. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.